Sunday once again. Welcome to vlog number four. I have checked out of my hostel and I'm heading to a castle that I'm going to try and visit before I head to the train station for a few hours. So, so I think this is like the outer yeah. part of the castle or something. I'm not entirely sure what this is because the map app says that the castle is like way further in there, so let's go check it out. Good trip. Milan was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about hostels and how I should book ones that are not three miles away from the rest of the city. And yeah, no, another week of school begins. Today on interning in an Italian elementary school, um random children deciding to pull other children's hair um yeah this little girl like just went over to this other little girl and like, ripped a chunk of her hair out I'm like you're seven what did she possibly do to you and then the girl that got her hair ripped out and her friend went over to like attack the other little girl and this Kid, this little boy was trying to steal the other girl's paper and uh, that was a lot. Um, mm, seven year olds, man. But, anywho. All's well that ends well, I guess. Like, by the time they left, they seemed fine. So, second graders point this out. I really love that it's sunset hour when I'm walking home from school every day. It's just so pretty. It really makes me love the city. So I'm just walking back from um, a visit to an art gallery with my Italian class because part of it is like cultural immersion site visits. Um, so we made some art, it's pretty cool. I also just walked past a guy that had five dogs, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I tried to film a clip in the art gallery while we were making the art, but it didn't record. I'm so great at vlogging. Oh, it sounds so cringy saying that out loud. Anyways. Good morning, I am off to the city center for a site visit for my Renaissance Art History class. And today we are going to the Duomo Museum. And it's fun because I haven't actually done that one yet. So I'm sure that it will be interesting, educational, fun. So I'll see you there. tour has ended but I'm gonna stay here and I actually went back to the beginning to see the whole thing. They said to follow the stars, that's the suggested itinerary so I'm gonna do that and see where it takes me. So for the um the site visits that we do in this class like we i paid a course fee um so that we get into the museums without having to pay like out of pocket um so the ticket that i had 
from the class did include the baptistry and the archaeological dig of the like medieval church that was here um, in the same site but uh, the baptistry I can come back and do and I think I might do that on Saturday but the archaeological dig sorry my phone cut me off um, the archaeological dig um, it was a timed ticket but even with the time ticket, which was for 11.30, which is like five minutes ago, there's still a long, long line to get in. So um, I don't have time to wait in that because I have to go to work later. Um, so I decided to just get gelato instead. And then some other time I will get a ticket to the, um, the archaeological thing because I also still haven't been inside the cathedral itself and then I also at some point want to get a ticket to the the cupola, the dome, the Duomo. Well, I don't actually think but Um, yeah, so I'll be back. The gelato is watermelon, by the way. The place I went to had a lot of interesting flavors to choose from. It was like on the same street as the Dromo, like right in front of it. Um, so I would probably be going back there because I had like a cookie one. It was like chocolate chip cookie, not cookie dough. And they also had one called Unicorn. Um, so I'm probably gonna go back there. Like some of gelato. But yeah, watermelon's great. Okay, so working at the school, the elementary school, was a lot better today. No um, hair pulling. I got a bunch of free plums because I eat lunch there on Thursdays. And then they had like plums out for the kids and there were so many of them and the kids didn't eat them all so I just took a few of them because they were just going to throw them out. Like, no. I, I'm very much anti-wasting food. If you know me, you know that. Um, but yeah, it was a fun day. Got one more class. I'm doing a presentation of my comedy class on the Mistero Buffo of Dario Fo. That should be fun. It's for extra credit. First college presentation. So fun. And then after that, it's the weekend. So I'm kind of inserting this in after the fact, but um, the clips that I'm about to show are of a field trip for my comedy class on Friday. And I realized that I like was filming clips without having any context of what they are. So we went to um, Parma, which is north of Florence. And um, with this comedy class, we um, went to a theater. Um, so you'll see that. And then after that, we went to another town called Sabioneta, and I'll jump in there too.
So I didn't film any clips of lunch, um, but we had lunch in Parma, and Parma is actually where Parmesan cheese comes from, as well as uh, Parma ham. I'm vegetarian, so I didn't have any of that, but I did have some Parmesan, and it was amazing and beautiful and delicious, and we had these ravioli that were a few different kinds. They were so good. It was great. And then after that, we went over to Sabioneta and we took kind of a little guided tour of the city because it's like a, a city, but it's mostly just a town. It's like a, a walled city in the 1600s that had its own like ducal system. Um, dukes. We went to the palace that the dukes lived in, um, so that was pretty cool. The next clip is really cool. You can see it's kind of an optical illusion. Um, if you look at the painted figure's knees, at first it looks like they're pointing to the right, but as you walk to the left, you realize that they're actually pointing to the left, um, which is pretty cool. So that was a really fun field trip. Um, we got to see some cool stuff, eat some cool stuff. The school paid for gelato for everyone, so that was fun. And it was just a good day. It was fun to get out of Florence, but have like all of the travel details taken care of. Um, like we were on a private bus, which was, a lot of fun. Um, it was actually a really nice bus and it was just a good day. It is Sunday, or er, no, not Sunday, Saturday morning, and I am going off to the Vodafone, which is like the phone, uh, like data company, and I gotta pay my phone bill thing. Um, but I have like this student plan, so it's cheap, so that's good. And then after that, I am going to go to the Duomo, I think, hang out there. Because um, I still have that ticket from the other day that will get me into the baptistry. And then I might buy myself a ticket for the rest of the Duomo itself. So we'll see. This is incredibly cool. The roof is under construct or er, under restoration right now, but I guess there's a guided tour um, that you can do to like go up there and look at it. So I might do that at some point, not today, because I don't think you can do it on the spot. Um, but there is just so much detail in here and this goes back actually to like before the cathedral itself was built so that's that's pretty crazy so the baptistry was pretty cool i don't think i'm gonna get the tickets for like the rest of the duomo things today because it's a saturday and like it's still warm season so it's incredibly touristy like these lines over there are incredibly long for like every single part of the Duomo so 
I might just come back in November. Um, that might just have to be what I do. Um, but I got some gelato at that place from last time that I got the watermelon at. This is unicorn flavor. Um, I don't know what's in it because I didn't have the description in English, but it tastes good. Very sugary. That's fun. It kind of matches me. So after visiting the baptistry and having my gelato, my unicorn gelato, I decided to journey across the river and I am going to the Boboli Gardens. So that should be fun. I get in for free with my um, Uffizi pass from the university. So that's fun and yeah, it should be fun. This is very pretty. Ooh, I spy the top of the Duomo. This is, ooh, huh. This is all at the um, Palazzo PT, which I can also get into, but I'm gonna save that for another day. Um, but it's like this giant complex. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. views this is amazing <sighs> there's a lizard they're all over the place rattling around time at the bubbly gardens I was, I was in there for a good three hours I'd say just kind of wandering around they go back so far I had a really fun time there's a lot to see and I could just kind of imagine myself being some kind of princess or duchess or something 400 years ago wandering through there I don't know <laughs> um, but anyways after that I went and got liner I'm calling it because it was like four something I don't even know what it is I have no idea um, so that was delicious and now I'm gonna walk home and do some homework pretty tired it got hot today so I think I might just call it a day have an early night and there we can vlog number four it's crazy that I've been here for an entire month and it's going pretty great see you in number five